Tonight, y'all, we are going to make a chicken tater tot casserole. I'm starting out making, uh, frying up some bacon. So, that is what I'm going to do first because we're going to add bacon into the tater tot casserole. So, I'm going to brown this up. Okay. So, we will let that cook up and I will be right back. Okay, y'all. This bacon is, I think, just about done. So, I'm going to take it out and put it on a paper towel and let it drain. And I will be right back. So, I always just get a little paper towel, a couple of paper towels, put it on a plate, which I'm sure many people do. And in case y'all hear the TV in the background, I have discovered that Wife Swap, I didn't know it was back on again. And there's a new season right now, and I'm watching all of the, the past season. And so I have that playing in the background. So if y'all are wondering what it is, that show is so funny to me and interesting to see these families switch and, and see how different they are. And it's interesting to see how some people live. So anyway, so I'm going to finish getting this out, and then I'll show you my next step. So there's the bacon, and I believe I did, um, it was either six or seven slices, and I know some people have said in the past that they didn't feel like bacon was very, very budget friendly, and this actually was given to me by my sister. We were having some tough times, and we had some food given to us, so I know how it is to be on a budget. But I was going to say, if you do, you could always use, I believe turkey bacon is cheaper or one thing I have done when I when it just calls for a small amount of bacon is I go over on the aisle where they have like the bacon bits and the croutons and salad dressings. And a lot of time they will have a bag of real bacon pieces and you could just use them like that or even throw those in a pan to kind of give a little crisp to them. And I think they're pretty inexpensive too. So anyways, I have a large mixing bowl here and I am going to put one cup of sour cream into this bowl. And I have a can of cream of chicken soup that I'm also going to put in here. And I have a package of ranch uh, salad dressing mix. I like to get the one from Kroger's because it's cheaper and it tastes just as good to me. So what we're going to do with all of this is we're going to whisk it together until it is well mixed or mixed well. <laughs> I think that's good and mixed. And then what we're gonna do after this, is the recipe called for a couple chicken breast cooked and cut up into little pieces. But what I have is, y'all know I like to cook like whole chicken or I'll get a big package of chicken breast and I cook them in my slow cooker. And I can link the recipe down below that I use and then I like to shred it up and then I'll freeze it and use for different meals. So I actually have, a freezer bag with probably a couple of cups, maybe a little over two and a half cups of shredded chicken. And that is what I'm gonna use. And then we're also gonna add the bacon and then two cups of shredded cheese. But I only ended up having a cup. So actually I'm gonna put this on hold because I have to go pick up my son in town and then we'll stop and get a package of cheese. And when I come back, we will finish mixing all of this up and then I'll put it in the oven to bake. So. For you, it'll only be a few seconds. For me, it may be like another hour. So I'm gonna pause and be back. Okay, y'all, I am back. I'm going to add my chicken right here. I'm gonna kind of start to mix it in with this stuff. Like I said, I have shredded chicken. And then we're also going to add the bacon that I fried earlier. And then we're gonna add the cheese, which is two cups. And I just went ahead and I told y'all I didn't have enough of the other cheese, so I bought a bag of cheese, and I'm just gonna put that cheese away because it was like a Mexican blend of cheese, so now I've got some mild cheddar cheese. We're gonna mix all this together, and then I'm gonna get our tater tots in just a second and add those to this. Okay, y'all, I have a two pound bag of just the Great Value Tater Tots. And this recipe, you leave them, you don't want them to be thawed out, I guess, because it won't mix as well. But you just kind of mix all of this together. 
Because yeah, if you let them thaw out, these will be falling apart when you're mixing it. So, that's what we're gonna do. Mix this all up as good as I can. And I have my oven preheating right now to I put it on 350. It's almost, almost preheated. But I just wanna get this all mixed up really good. And it smells so good, y'all. So, I'm about to get my nine by 13 pan. Courtney, I broke your cup, I think. Which cup? I dropped it on the floor. Let me see. This one, I'm gonna have to buy her a new cup. It's broke. Courtney. Let me see, let me see. I broke your cup. Hey y'all, I went ahead and sprayed the inside of this pan just to be on the safe side so that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna pour this in. Oops, it's falling out. Okay, I'm just getting it all, kind of make sure it's good and mixed well. I'm just, my hands are clean. <laughs> but I'm just kind of making sure it's all down in there good. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm going to let it bake for 30 minutes. It had cooked for 30 minutes. I took it out and I was checking it and I guess since it's all mixed together, it was still kind of cold through here. So I'm actually gonna turn it up to 375, I think. I kind of moved some of this around, made it more an even layer. And I'm gonna let it cook for maybe 10 more minutes. Hey y'all, I have it done. And then we also have some salad, lettuce and tomatoes. Sorry for the noise, the kids were watching TV, but we're about to sit down and eat. How's that out? Adrian, how do you like that? Good. Is it good? Okay, Bross, how do you like it? It's magically delicious. <laughs> what about you, Courtney? Good? I think it's really good. I'm eating salad too. My husband hasn't made it home yet, but it's really good, y'all. Like I said, I just had to cook it a little bit longer. I think if you'd have put the tater tots just on the top, maybe, set it down in there, then it would probably be done quicker, but. Then it might be as good. <laughs> but, yep, that's what's for dinner tonight. What are you doing? Drying his hair. <laughs> yeah, your head. He just took a bath. <laughs> hey, y'all, welcome to tonight's What's for Dinner. We are going to be making crock pot pork loin. I have a cup of water that I'm going to bring to a boil in this saucepan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this beef bouillon, just comes in the little packages. And while that is boiling, I just wanted to show y'all the pork loin I have. It's only a little over two pounds and it shows to be Creole seasoned. So we'll see how this turns out. So I'm just gonna put this here into the crock pot. And this was given to me by my sister. I have actually never made anything like this before. And now that the water has came to a boil, I'll go ahead and put that beef bouillon in there and we will mix that up and let it dissolve. Okay, now that we have it dissol dissolved, <laughs> I'm gonna just pour it into the pan or into the crock pot, I mean with the pork loin. And I did some reading on Pinterest and it said that I can cook a pork, lo pork loin <laughs> for about four hours on low. So we will see. And to go along with the pork loin, I have diced up or cut up some potatoes and I'm just seasoning them with some salt and I covered them with water and we're gonna bring those up to a boil. Um, once they've cooked, I will drain them. I put in almost a whole stick of butter and I'm gonna mash them with my potato masher until they're well mashed. And then I always like to add in uh, some whipping cream, which you will see me doing right now. And I will mix that up real well and then we'll add um, salt and pepper, and then we have our mashed potatoes all done. Okay, we are making just a simple brown gravy. I just put the package of gravy mix into a small saucepan, mix it with a cup of water, 
bring it to a boil it thickens up it's very very easy um, I'm not the best at making gravy so I use these package gravies and then we're just making easy Kraft macaroni and cheese because hey that's a big favorite in our house the kids love it okay y'all this looks totally different than earlier I had read on Pinterest to let this cook um, for on low for like four hours and it was not done so what we ended up doing was we cut it into pieces and then we added another two cups of water that we put a couple of chicken not chicken a couple of beef bouillon in cubes in and a, a package of on, onion soup mix and then we brought, brought that to a boil and then poured it in here with it and then we let it cook on high for a little probably a little over two and a half out more hours and now it is done it is falling apart so i think this is going to be really good so we're going to go over here and plate it up and we'll let you know what we think okay y'all mashed potatoes mac and cheese we did some brown gravy and then there's the meat mm, courtney's cheese. already started making her plate hey bryce how do you like the food tonight <laughs> is it really good yeah kiki courtney still here dancing tick talking even when she's eating, it's like she's always yeah, TikToking. Good. good. The meat it's isn't the best. Unless... What? I thought the meat was good. It's not the best. It's not TikToking unless you have a phone and you're on TikTok. Well, she's doing she's them dances. Dancing. Adrian, quit trying to do homework. Good. How you like it? Good. It's good. Yeah, it took longer to cook than yeah. what the recommendations on Pinterest said. So if you're making this, I would say you're going to need probably six to eight hours. Unless you put it on high, it's then it may be quicker. Six. It said, no, the one I seen said four hours on low, oh, you or two hours six. on high. No. But anyways, welcome to tonight's what's for dinner. I have a pound of pinto beans. I've already sorted them. I'm just kind of rinsing them and cleaning them. I would normally let these soak overnight, but I didn't. I was trying to come up with something to make tonight with leftover ham. Y'all probably remember um, in a what's for dinner I did a week or so ago that we made a big ham on the, our Traeger grill and then I split it up and froze it for separate meals. So tonight we are going to make ham and pinto beans in our pressure cooker. I don't have the instant pot but it's very similar to an instant pot so that's what I'm going to do. So I've got these beans I've cleaned off. I'm just gonna drop them in there. And okay, I'm just pouring this bag of ham. I defrosted it, and I'm just gonna pour it directly into the pressure cooker. Okay, hey, y'all, I'm gonna start adding some water. I probably should have just I'm just gonna bring this over to the sink. Much quicker. I'm going to add two packages of this, I don't know how to pronounce it, Goya. <laughs> and one more thing I'm going to add is some bacon grease. You know, I add some bacon grease in there, big spoonful of that. I'm going to add another one. And... Stir all that up in there. And then I'm going to put my lid on. Okay, I'm going to put it, I think, on the soup function. Soup or stew function. So, I don't use this very often, so let's make sure I do this right. And then the time... I'm going to make it, I think I'm going to increase the time to an hour. Because I think in the past on this one, that's what we did. So, yeah, I think an hour will be good. I hit start and it's going to come to pressure and I will come back and show you all the finished product. Really easy tonight. Okay, y'all, got the beans done. Look how good they look. We're going to start putting those in bowls. We got some cornbread. I've shared that in other videos. So now we're going to gonna start eating. Hello. How do you like it tonight, Brian? It's good. good. Really good. And we also have this um, hot sauce here that we like. Tapito and Maria sauce. This one is really good. I haven't tried this one. 
Oh, Adrian. How do you like your beans, Adrian? Good. You're going to put some of that in it? Don't put much. You're going to be burning your mouth up. I put like half a spoon. What do you think of it, honey? Are you eating this? Is it a thumbs up? <laughs> He's telling me to go away, y'all. Okay, Finally, Cookie. you just skip me. I was coming good. back to you. It's good. 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 Are, are you glad she skipped you or good food? Yum, yum, good yum. Food. Oh my gosh. I'm not glad she skipped me. <laughs> Child. Is it hot? Let's take a bite. Ooh.